This car is known as the Super Uber. As you can see, it has two GPS modules for accuracy, and it also describes the streets ahead. It keeps me more accurate. On top here, you'll see an actual video screen. This device records front and rear as I'm driving. It has a 180 degree front, 180 degree back, and as a result, I could see all around the car. I'll show you how it'll switch to front and back. Going down to the glove compartment, I keep a handy spray bottle of Lysol because I want to keep the car germ-free for all the riders. Now the main heart of everything that's going on in this car, as you can see here, trying to make this as smooth as possible, this is the control panel. This control panel controls all the special chargers and the lighting for the entire car. You'll see what I mean when we get to the back. There's little button controls that control the, the lights and hidden way back here. There's also some more buttons. Too hard to show on camera. But this is, again, the control panel for the entire car. This is a nifty device. A lot of people, this point I'm pointing out right here, a lot of people don't know that they're carrying data cables around with them. You should never carry data cables with you because if you're in a public place, they can seal your data. This is called, this device here, and the top just fell off, but it's called a juice jack. Juice jack prevents data from escaping from your cell phone. So all you do is charge and not share your data with the entire world. Now going to the back of the car. Starting from the left seat down, we have a picture of my dog, which is the most important part of my life. And then I have what they call a short writer's bill of rights. They tell them that the refreshments are free. And going down a little further, you'll start to see what the control panel controls. If you look here, we have color codes for all the different cell phones out there and all the cables correspond to that color code. This system is on the left side and the right side. And going down a little further, we'll see that I have wet naps, we have Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum and Juicy Fruit Bubble Gum and the other gum is called Chews. And going down further, we have cool water bottles. I lifted the seats an inch and stuck in special coolers to keep the water cool for people who are thirsty or just need a drink. I'm going towards the center of the back. This is a trash can. You throw the trash and the wrappers in here when they're finished with them. Unfortunately, a lot of times I get more than just the trash from my candy. I found slippers in there. I found a washcloth in there. I don't know what people do, but anyway, it surprises me. One day, a lady got in the car and says, I love everything, but I have diabetes. So what I did is I stuck in an upper rack here, and this is your sugar-free candy. And then going down a little further, people have dry mouth after they get off the plane. I stuck in Therabred Lodgensers. Lodgens, anyway, they're Therabred. Can't pronounce it, I don't know why. Now in the center, there are certain people don't trust 
any foreign cable. So I've stuck in these devices where it says, bring your own cable. That's an option, do your own cable. I got two of those. And what I'm showing you here is chargers for every possible configuration you can imagine. I can charge just about anything anybody has. Keyboards, headsets, you name it. Freaky little musical instruments. It's all here in charge. Going to the right side of the car. I call this my customer's or my writer's bill of rights. It explains everything to them. Tells them the freshmen are free. And the water is under the seats. I included wet naps. Gum and candy is free. Charge cables are, are charge only, not data cables for your protection. Then I also told them that if the car is too hot or too cold, let me know. If you want the music off, I have piped in music I pay a subscription to. But some people don't like it, so they asked me to turn it off. And I also ask them if they have a preferred route and anything else I knew. And then I remind them because a lot of people ask me, can I have? And it says free, so I had to put down free twice. And going down, you'll notice that above the candy on both seats, I have LED lights. LED lights are for when it's dark out, I can still see the candy and the signs. And on the left side, we have the wet naps again. We have Jolly Roger candy, and we have mints. And again, on the right side of the car, we have the cool water bottles under the seat. So all you have to do is pull the tray out. And you have cool water bottles. Now, if you notice the LED lights, these lights change color for every occasion. In other words, if there's a holiday, I get changes to that holiday's colors or any kind of celebration, I could change the coloring to that celebration. I have this on the right post and going slowly over, you'll notice all the lights are around the writer's bill of rights so they can see it at night. And going over to the left side of the car, I have the other set of adjustable LED lights. And if you look here, I put in tissues. Actually, I've done things as people have had problems as I was driving them. This English lady was taking a plane to London and she started sneezing. And I says, you know what I got to do? After that situation, I decided to put in tissue paper. So when you start sneezing, they have tissue paper to take care of themselves. The reason why I stuck in the wet naps is just a lot of kitties get in the car and got sticky fingers. So they can take a wet nap and wash their fingers. And that's about it for this car.